Welcome dear students, I am your chemistry teacher and today we are going to study the updated syllabus of 9th class with you. As you know, our chemistry textbook has been changed. So it is very important to understand that syllabus is an important document that tells you what to study and how to study. First of all, now we see that our chemistry textbook has changed. अब हमें हेल्पिंग मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड है और किप्स कभी भी आपको अकेला नहीं छोड़ता किप्स प्रोवाइड यू सम हेल्पिंग टेक्स्ट बुक व्हिच हेल्प्स यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफिकल्ट कांसेप्ट इन अ इजीएस्ट वे सो स्टूडेंट हमारे पास जो चैप्टर इंक्लूड हैं केमिस्ट्री टेक्स्ट बुक में दीस आर 13 चैप्टर्स सो दीस 13 चैप्टर्स आर चैप्टर नंबर 1 स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर Chapter number two, atomic structure. Chapter number three, chemical bonding. Chapter number four, stoichiometry. Chapter number five, energetics. Chapter number six, equilibria. Chapter number seven, acid base chemistry. Chapter number eight, predictable and product city. Chapter number nine, group properties and elements. And the next chapter 10, environmental chemistry. Chapter number 11, hydrocarbons. Chapter number 12, Empirical Data Collection and Analysis, Chapter Number 13, Laboratory and Practical Skills. These chapters are included in our chemistry textbook. Now, we have to see that now, which chapters are and which topics are going to be included in our syllabus. And there is no paper in it. So, students, these are two chapters. Chapter Number 1, Atomic Structure. Chapter Number 2, Atomic Structure. Chapter Number 3, Atomic Structure. Chapter Number Chapter Number 12 and 13 are excluded. According to the ALP 2025 session. So, student, these chapters are excluded. Now, we will only concentrate on the 11 chapters. Now, in 11 chapters, we will completely study. In this way, there are many topics, there are many exercises, which are excluded. So, one by one, chapters will study. और देखते हैं कौन-कौन से टॉपिक्स और कौन-कौन से क्वेश्चंस हैं जिनको हमारे सिलेबस से एक्सक्लूड कर दिया गया है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द चैप्टर नंबर 1 स्टेट्स एंड फेज चेंजेस सो स्टूडेंट्स स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर एंड फेज चेंजेस इस चैप्टर में आपका जो मेजर कंसर्न होगा वो मैटर से होगा इसकी डिफरेंट स्टेट से होगा और इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ द मैटर से होगा you will also study solutions, collides, suspensions, and also study the solubilities and effect of different temperatures and different factors on the solubility of the solutes in solvents. जब ये सब चीजें आप study कर लेंगे, तो अब हम देखते हैं कि इसमें कौन-कौन से questions हैं जो exclude कर दिए गए। So student, topic 1.2, topic 1.4, and topic 1.8, these topics are excluded. And the questions 1, 4, 7, 9, and 10 from the MCQs, 3, 5, 6, and 7 from the short questions, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from the constructive response questions, and 2, 3, 4, 5 from the descriptive questions, and 2 from the investigative questions. These questions are excluded from our exercise in chapter number 1. So, student, after chapter number 1, we will concentrate on chapter number 2. And these are the topics. परेशान होने की जरूरत नहीं है। तो इनमें से भी कुछ topics ऐसे हैं जिनको exclude कर दिया गया है, जिसमें topic 2.3 isotopes and their masses है। और exercise questions 3, 4, 7 and 10, 4 and 5 from the short questions, 4 and 5 from constructive response question, 1, 2, 3, 4 from descriptive questions and 1 in the investigative questions. अब ये questions तो part नहीं है। अब आपको इजी हो जाएगा कि आपने किन-किन टॉपिक्स को स्टडी करना है और किन टॉपिक्स पे कितना टाइम यूटिलाइज करना है तो इस तरीके से आप कम वक्त में ज्यादा आउटपुट गेन कर सकते हैं सो इन द चैप्टर नंबर 3 केमिकल बॉन्डिंग सो इन केमिकल बॉन्डिंग द टॉपिक्स आर फॉलोइंग एंड द टॉपिक्स दैट आर एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम आवर चैप्टर नंबर 3 आर 3.6 दैट इज कंपेयर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ आयनिक एंड कोवेलेंट कंपाउंड्स Topic 3.8, Nature of Bonding and Properties and the questions, कौन कौन से exercise में से, MCQs में से, MCQs number 5 and 6 are not more the part of our syllabus. 
2 and 4 from the short questions, 5 and 6 from the constructive response questions, 2, 4 and 5 from the descriptive questions, and 1 and 2 from the investigative questions. These questions are excluded from the exercise. So, now student, chapter number 4, stichiometry. So, student, in the stichiometry, topics they are excluded are topic number, koi bhi nahi aisa. So, questions jo exercise exclude kiya gaya in mein 8, 9 or 10 are from the MCQs, short question, second or constructive response questions may say 4 and 5, descriptive questions may say 3 or investigative questions may say 1 and 3 are excluded from our exercise. Topic sub aap ne understand karne. Just exercise ke ye kuch questions hain jinko exclude kiya kya hai. Now, we will concentrate on chapter number 5. Chapter number 5 is energetics. Energetics chapter, in this chapter, you will study the energy changes that are occur during a chemical reactions. Reactions may be exothermic. They may release the energy and they may be endothermic. They absorb the energy. Surrounding will be warmed. Surrounding will be cooled. All these concepts will you understand in this chapter. So, the topics that are excluded are Kaun kaun se student? Topic 5.3. 5.3 topics me se kuch partial pages ko exclude kiya gaya hai. These are partial part of 5.3 exothermic and endothermic reactions from last para 71 to 74 page. So student, now the next one is question number 6, 7, 9 and 10. These MCQs are excluded. Question number 4 from the short questions. 1 and 3 from the constructive response questions, 1 and 4 from the descriptive questions, and second from the investigative questions. These questions are excluded. Now, we will concentrate on Kispace Ruin, chapter number 6, Equilibria. In chapter number 6, you will study the different types of equilibrium and conditions under which our equilibrium is achieved forward and reverse reaction for the equilibriums and different applications of equilibrium expression. So, the questions and the topic that are excluded are Topic 6.3, changing the physical conditions of chemical reaction. Question 3, 4, 7 and 10 from the MCQs, 2 and 5 from the short questions, 4 and 5 from the constructive response questions, 3 and 5 from the descriptive questions, and 1 and 2 from the investigative questions. These questions are excluded. Now students, chapter number 7, acid-base chemistry. In acid-base chemistry, we will study the difference between acid and base. What is strong acid? What is weak acid? What is strong base? What is weak base? And concept that explain what is a acid and what is a base and this concept gives you different information about the acid and base in this chapter we will also concentrate on acid drain student acid drain jab different harmful oxide like sulfur oxide nitric oxide nitrogen oxide jisko hum kehte hain jab ye vehicles or different chimneys say exhaust or smoky form mein air mein mix ho jate hain to hoga kya jo rain water hoga wo react kar jayega in oxide se aur inko harmful acid mein convert kar dete hain and after that the density of these vapors is increase and they fall in the form of rain and this rain is known as acid rain and the topic they are excluded are acid rain and its effect questions 7 and 10 from the mcqs 5 from the short questions, 2 from the constructive response question, 4 and 5 from the descriptive questions, and 1 from the investigative question. Now, chapter number 8, Product Table and Product City. Chapter 8, Product Table and Product City. What is Product Table? An arrangement of uh, elements in the form of table is known as Product Table. And why we arrange the elements in the form of table? So your answer is to understand, to easy the study of the properties of elements. After that, you will study the chemical properties in the groups and in the periods. And physical properties during the moving downward in the group 
and left right in the periods. After that, you will study the metallic character, like metallic character is increased from top to bottom and decreased from left to right. You will study the difference between metals, non-metals. So, the topics that are excluded from our syllabus are metallic character and reactivity. And questions are 8 and 9 from the MCQs, 9 and 10 from the short questions, 5 from the constructive response question, 4 and 6 from the descriptive question, and second from the investigative question. These questions are not more the part of our syllabus. Chapter number 9. Chapter number 9, group properties and elements. What is groups and what are properties? So, when elements are arranged in specific group vertical columns, then their properties are repeated. And we assign a specific name to the group that is known as family name. And it is all about the property that they are showing in their chemical reactions. Like the group 1 that is known as alkali metals. Group 2 that is known as alkaline earth metals like halogens. Group 17. Group 1 ko alkali metal kyun kehte the? Kyunki ye alkaline solution form karte the. Alkaline earth metal group 2 ko kyun kehte the? To aap batayenge students because it also form the alkali solution when it react or dissolve in water and their occurrence in the earth crust. That's why its name is alkaline earth metal. And group 7 halogen group 17 bhi kehte halogens. Aur inko halogens kyun kehte because halogens mean salt generating substances ya elements jo salts formation karte hain. Whenever halogen react with alkali or alkaline earth metal, they produce salt. And the topic that are excluded is topic number 9.5, physical properties of metal and non-metals. And the questions 8 and 9 from the MCQs, 5 from the short question, 3, 6 and 7 constructive response question ka mazid hisa nahi hai, 3 and 6 from the descriptive questions and 3 from the investigative question. And these questions are excluded from the exercise. Now, chapter number 10. Chapter number 10 is environmental chemistry. Now, when we environmental chemistry, we study it, then we have mind in our environment, our whole. So, in environmental chemistry, you will study the different components of environment and effect of human activities on the environment. Now, you will study the different harmful activities of the human beings that has adverse effect on our environment. Now, the questions that are more, more the part of our syllabus are topic 10.4, global warming and greenhouse effect, 10.5, strategies to reduce the environmental issues. And the question 148 and 9 from the MCQs, 236 and 7 from the short question, 34 and 5 from the constructive response question, 234 and 5 from the descriptive question, 123 from the investigative question. All these questions are excluded from our exercise, chapter number 10. Now, chapter number 11, hydrocarbons. In hydrocarbon, you will study the hydromine, hydrogen and carbon. You study the compounds of carbon and hydrogen. And you will only concentrate on alkanes in which there is a single bond present between the carbon atoms. Alkanes, there is a double bond. Alkynes, there is a triple bond between the carbon atoms. And we will also study the preparations and reactivity of the alkanes. After that, the topics that are not more the part of our syllabus is 11.4, important reactions jo hai, include nahi hai mazid. Or questions may say 3, 6, 9 and 10 from the MCQs, 3, 8 and 9 from the short question, 4, 5 and 6 from the constructive response question, and 3 and 5 from the descriptive questions and 1 from the investigative question. All these questions are excluded. Now, chapter number 12. You have told me that you have told me that you have told me that you exclude told me that So, empirical data collection and analysis. Complete chapter is excluded. So, now this chapter is not time waste. And this is the case chapter number 13. Laboratory and practical skills is chapter ko bhi hamare syllabus se exclude kar diya gaya hai. So student, after that, you are able to understand the importance of the syllabus. Ab aapko ye clear hai ki ab humne kin chapters ko kitna time provide karna hai 
और किन चैप्टर्स को उस टाइम में आप अंडरस्टैंड कर सकते हैं और याद कर सकते हैं जब आपको ये सब चीजें क्लियर हो जाएंगे तो यू विल मैनेज योर टाइम टू अचीव योर गोल्स एंड गेट सक्सेस इन योर लाइफ